It's time, it's time, it's WrestleMania time. Hello everybody, my name is Liam with Elrock95 and welcome to another edition of SmackDown vs. Raw 2007 General Manager Mode. And it is the final edition of Year 2. That's right, the second year is over after this episode. <laughs> uh, we've got WrestleMania to do, we've got a lot of stuff to get into. Uh, it should be very interesting uh, to see what happens. And uh, hopefully we end up on top, but I doubt that'll happen. Uh, so if you missed the last episode, check it out. It's in the description, not the description, on the channel, I should say. Uh, on the channel, there's a little playlist, year two. And also, if you want to check out year one, what happened last year? Yeah. Uh, then check that out as well, uh, to, yeah, to see what happened. We lost, but it was a fun loss, you know what I mean? We, we, we took a lucky down. But today, we are in our element. Element. Uh, oh, you can't really see that. We're in our element. There you go. Uh, yes, we're in our element. We're at WrestleMania 22. We've got a tournament against Raw to decide who has a better draft. Uh, who can basically keep hold of their top stars in the draft. Uh, well, what top stars? And we picked our people. Uh, we also have a new world champion in Mark Henry beat Rob Van Dam on SmackDown. And they clash once again at WrestleMania for the World Heavyweight Championship in our main event, SmackDown. Uh, so we've got a good amount of money still available. Hey! Yeah, we have a lot of money available to us uh, at this point in time, which is good because we're into the next year obviously and we need as much money as possible to start off our year. We are WrestleMania, we have a tournament going up. It has talk about the tournament. And uh, our roster currently looks like this. We have this roster. Uh, it's very small. Well, I think it's bigger than it was last time. Contract situations were not too bad. Two weeks for all these people right here. Uh, yeah, so we're going to go into this WrestleMania. Hopefully, we have a good uh, WrestleMania. That'd be nice. Uh, let's show you the match card right here uh, at Toronto, Canada for WrestleMania 22. So, before we get into it, here it is. Umaga taking on Kurt Angle on Heat. That's a match we're having. Uh, Trevor Murdoch is taking on Vacant, so that should be a very interesting match up there between Murdoch and Vacant. And here is the tournament. So in the first match of Shawn Michaels, the Heartbreak Kid, takes on The Undertaker in a steel cage match. Another steel cage match. And again, we've chosen The Undertaker. To this time, take on Shawn Michaels. Not the big show, it's The Heartbreak Kid. Hardcore singles match. We've picked Edge for this one as he takes on, again, Roddy, Rowdy, Roddy, Piper. Roddy, Rowdy, Roddy, 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 Piper. Uh, these are going to be facing each other here. In a hardcore match, Roddy Piper again chosen for this matchup. And in match three, it's the first in this. The first time we'll see this man uh, in a 1-1 one -one matchup. It is Mick Foley in a parking lot brawl. We've chosen the United States champion, Shelton Benjamin. There ain't no stopping him. No, no. So that's a very interesting matchup there. And our main event. We don't care about the main event, actual main event, but the main event for us is the last man standing match between Rob Van Dam and Mark Henry. That is our main event for WrestleMania. And of course, Eddie Guerrero taking on Triple H, who won the Royal Rumble. That's Triple H, the game, two years running. So now we're going to go into this card here. We're going to watch all the matches, including Tremendo and Bacon, which is going to be a fun one, I think. Uh, <laughs> but we have five, yeah, five matches to watch. Uh, potentially six, obviously, we're thinking. Uh, so, see what happens here in Toronto, Ontario, Canada for WrestleMania 22. We begin hit the big time. Let's go. Oh, what a shock. Trevor Minot won. Oh my god. Trevor Minot on Heat beating uh, Vacant in a hard hitting contest. Uh, the game didn't want to record it because it was that brutal. Uh, that's how brutal it was. So, now we have the last match on Heat, and that is Umaga versus Kurt Angle. This has been a rivalry going on on SmackDown, a tag team affair between the Foot Fetish Freaks and Carlito and Umaga, that team. But uh, now we have a one-on-one -on -one contest here between Umaga and Kurt Angle. What will happen when the Samoan Bulldog takes on the Olympic gold medalist and one half of the tag team champions? We'll find out right here, right now. Let's get into this matchup. Oh, look who it is. Umaga. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, from the Isle of Samoa, weighing in at 350 pounds, Umaga. 
Umaga is here with the face paint on his face, the tattoos, the tribal tats. Showing off his Samoan heritage. But the Samoan Bulls of Umaga traded from Raw to SmackDown uh, in this GM Mode series. Has not been the signing we have hoped he would be. Samoan Bulls of Umaga has not been at his best on his own. Tag team match with Carlito. They have won non-title tag team matches but have not won the big one. As the foot fetishings remain unsolvable. But Umaga's toughest test to date is coming up here on Heat as he takes on. Kurt Angle, who should be on the main card, but he's not tonight. Will Umaga be able to defeat Kurt Angle here? We should find out right here in just a moment. Oh, look who it is. Kurt Angle. And the opponent from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 230 pounds, Kurt Angle. Then you got to see it saying the name Kurt Angle. He's got Olympic gold around his neck. No tag team title with him tonight. Uh, around his waist, doesn't even tonight. He wants to show that he respects Umaga as a singles competitor, it might be. But Kurt Angle is, well, not boring, but Kurt Angle is one of our guys. He has been our day one guy. He was our first draft pick, and now he's on Heat at WrestleMania. But Kurt Angle looking to beat Umaga here at Heat. Can he do it for the foot fetish freaks around the world? And for his partner of Snitsky. We'll find it right here, right now. It's Kurt Angle still set to take on Umaga. Ooh. And here we go. Umaga and Kurt Angle. It's going to be a straight up shooter match right here. That's Mike Kyoto, your official tonight. Uh, I'm assuming since it's on the Heat, uh, that because it's on Heat, that Raw, uh, because Raw have the more fans, that's why it is. That's what I'm assuming anyway. Uh, yeah, we've never had like a Velocity SummerSlam or WrestleMania. I don't think we have Survivor Series Velocity either. So it has been like all heat. So uh, we need to change that probably in next year. Uh, if we do it next year, that is. But here we go. Umaga versus Kurt Angle in action on Velocity. This Velocity? Heat. Uh, this is potentially like a main card WrestleMania matchup here. Uh, considering Kurt Angle's a tag team champion as well. That could be on WrestleMania, but apparently we have a tournament to do, so we can't have many time matches. Look at the Mongol wheelbarrow. A wheelbarrow camel clutch. That is an interesting maneuver. Oh, he just dunked him on his back there. The knee drop from Umaga. Umaga looking to get a big win over the Olympic gold medalist Kurt Angle and one half of the Tank of Champions. Hasn't had his best of luck against the foot fetish freaks. Both the Foot Fetish have beaten Carlito and Umaga in one on one contests on SmackDown. And German suplex from Kurt Angle. Oh, he's feeling primal. Look at him. He's feeling good tonight. Yeah, looking to do the job tonight, Umaga. But Kurt Angle looking to prove that he is a wrestling machine. But look at Umaga. Pile driver. Driving angles on his head there. I'm trying to break his neck. But when you break Angle's neck, he wins matches, as we found out in 1996 when he won Olympic gold with a broken freaking neck. And Umaga now in control of this matchup just about. Uh, he's trying to get some control and order in this matchup. Excuse me, I, I can't stop you on a it. The thing. I've, I've probably just woken up as well. <laughs> but uh, just trying to get this video out of the way. Yeah, look at Angle. Takedown. Look at this. Look at this pin combination. Umaga in trouble. Mike here with the count. He counts. To, oh, counts two and a half. It looks like close to a three count. Umaga the equal out there. Oh, look at that. STO. Beautiful from Umaga. And I need drop people to follow. Yes, Umaga has not been the signing we hoped he'd be. Since joining SmackDown, he has not had the best of times. Had multiple title matches with US titles, tag team titles. Has not got it done yet. I have big hopes for Umaga. In if we do do a year three, we have big hopes for Umaga to be built up to be a brick shit house. Uh, obviously, we've seen Shelton Benjamin rise to the top, winning titles. He's still champion, US champion, of course. We've seen Mark Henry go to the top, and look at that for Umaga. Power, nice little power slam. He just knows exactly what to do right now. In control of Kurt Angle. This is his match. This is his time to prove himself. And Kurt Angle is in deep trouble in this matchup on Heat. Because Kurt Angle was on the main card last year. He faced Rey Mysterio in a park stage, park stage 
a parking lot brawl, backseat brawl, against Rey Mysterio and lost it for us. So uh, he is not on the card this year for that reason. But also because I want to see him face him while I get on heat. Uh, yeah, we're, we're very confident in our chances this year. Very confident uh, as this match is going on here. Uh, obviously, Undertaker's undefeated at WrestleMania, so we have that in our in our arsenal. So, you know, Undertaker will do the job. Yeah, look at this. Submission maneuver. This could be it for Kurt Angle. Don't know how much more he can take. He's back. Oh, he's, he's in trouble. I think it's just one more Samoan. Just a Samoan spike need. Oh, he's going for it again. Trying to make him submit. Not even try and go for a pin. Trying to make him tap out. Disrespect of submission special is Kurt Angle here. Umaga intent on making him tap out. Making him humble. Fatui. Oh, double chop, kick, and here it is, the thumb and the Samoan spike, and that's it, that has got to be it for Kurt Angle. And Umaga cover, one, two, it's a big win for Umaga, big win. That's a huge win for Umaga, that's a huge win. Here's your winner, Umaga! He loves the people. Look at him. Yeah, I love my peeps. Hey, I love my people. God damn that. <laughs> I don't think they enough time putting a Marcus uh, custom win uh, animation here. Yeah, I think it just went. Let's give him the peoples. The pe He's doing it for the people right here. Umaga, your winner of this opening contest and the last contest on Heat. As we head into the WrestleMania card now, congrats to Umaga. And big things are happening for him in year three potentially after that win. Who knows? Which means we've reached at WrestleMania. We've reached the promised land. Here we are. I've just switched it over. As we see, four matches left to go in this series of year two. So the first matchup is a big matchup. Shawn Michaels, the Heartbreak Kid, trusted for Monday Night Raw. Undertaker, trusted for Team SmackDown in a steel cage, single pin and give up stipulation. You can escape the cage, you can pin, you can submit, you can do what you want in there. But I have confidence, I have full faith that the Undertaker can get the job done here at the granddaddy of them all. But we have Shawn Michaels who is a bit of a thorn on our side. Last time we saw Shawn Michaels, I think it was at Survivor Series where he faced John Cena uh, in year one and completely wiped the floor with John Cena. You couldn't see him that night. But uh, Shawn Michaels absolutely bad him. So we're hoping for a different scenario here where we see The Undertaker beat Shawn Michaels. Happy days. That's what we're hoping for. Anyway, let's get into this match right here, right now with Shawn Michaels versus The Undertaker. Oh, here we are. HBK WrestleMania. The following contest is a steel cage match. On the way to the ring, from San Antonio, Texas, weighing in at 225 pounds, the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels with his nips out in that uh, jacket there. But Shawn Michaels, a man of God, as you can see here, he's going to do a little pray, do a little prayer. And before he does, the Paro. Shawn Michaels, first of all, have you seen Mr. WrestleMania at WrestleMania in GMO? Uh, Shawn Michaels has that tagline. He is the showstopper, the headliner, Mr. Main Event, the heartbreak kid, Mr. WrestleMania. Shawn Michaels is ready for the Steel Cage match. Of course, Shawn Michaels has a tough test ahead of him against The Undertaker, but I'm sure it'd make for a great matchup all the same. But Shawn Michaels is ready. As you can see, he's, he's getting the crowd ready. Look at him, he's got to do his muscle thing. There it is. No pyro there. But he's ready for this contest with his opponent, who's coming out next. Oh, and here he comes. And the opponent from Death Valley, weighing in at 305 pounds, The Undertaker. Ricochet's excited because he saw you hear the Undertaker come out, and there he is. WrestleMania revolves around this man once upon a time with his long streak. In this, of course, he still has a streak. He is still undefeated at WrestleMania. Of course, one last year, beating the Big Show in this very matchup. So I have full faith that the Undertaker can do it again 
for us here tonight. You have to make that long walk down the ramp. Shawn Michaels, his opponent tonight. And uh, this should be a very interesting matchup, very intriguing matchup, to say at least, between these two icons of the business, two veterans. And this is an opening contest on WrestleMania. This is incredible. You would not see it as my cats are starting to fight. Yeah, don't fight, boys. I know it's the Undertaker. Come on, come on. Chill up, chill up. Undertaker looks down and up at about to raise the lads up. Oh, yeah. Undertaker's ready. Put the hair and everything. But can the Undertaker get the job done here tonight? Keep his WrestleMania streak alive? Excuse me. And do it for Team SmackDown because he's about to give these people what they want. He's about to give them those ass. Let's get this matchup here between Shawn Michaels and The Undertaker. Oh, look at that. Locked inside the steel cage. Undertaker and Shawn Michaels. Undertaker, no stranger to steel cages uh, at WrestleMania. Of course, competed one last year in GM mode. And now this year, does it again. Here we go, Shawn Michaels. Although we know he competed inside a Hell in a Cell uh, against John Cena. Oh, no blow and a drop kick as well. Not bad at all. He's just being a fucking nuisance. You are? Yes. I don't know what's wrong with you today. Now, Shawn Michaels is a sharpshooter. Disrespect to Bret Hart here. I'm missing the match completely, so I'm talking to my cat. You can tell lockdown's really affecting me here. As Shawn Michaels is sorting out the Undertaker. Chopsky. This isn't good. This isn't good. I'm not confident now. Shawn Michaels is there. Oh, yeah. Take him some more. Take, you've got to do something in that position. You can't let him... I don't know what it was like against Big Show. I can't really remember what happened in the match. I don't know if Big Show was the offense or not. But I remember Take escaping the cage. That's what I remember. But I'm not, I'm not confident now that I remember the Shawn Michaels just completely destroys everybody in this game. For some reason. Oh, look out. Oh, hello. You can't see that. Take it. Take him down with a snap, man. It's a variation of it. Now he's come back up, punching it. Lots of punches. Ricochet's going to have a first closer look at the game. Knees in the gut, going for a DDT. No, standing bulldog choke, trying to choke out Shawn Michaels on his feet here. Oh, he's not very close, he's there. He looks like the guy enough uh, the other one somewhere. Yeah, the no. Okay. Joel Michaels having a choke of his own now. That's the heartbreak kid. Is taking control of this match again? Although it looks pretty even so far, considering the amount of damage done. It sure is, Taz. What do you think the oh, HBK so working the arm no, now, and now going for it. Bonk, knee. Punches the face by HBK, getting all our momentum on his side. I'm not that confident now, and Undertaker's no, chances no, here, as HBK no, is no, taking it to the Undertaker. And he could defeat the streak here tonight. This, this is not good for us. This is not good for us. I trust the Undertaker to get the job done. But I forgot who he's in the ring with. And that is Shawn Michaels. Sweet chin music. That could be it for the dead man. No, not yet, says Shawn Michaels. He wants to do more damage to the Undertaker. One of those big punches. Elbow strikes as well. And a kick. Please don't do him, Sean. Please. Come on. He needs, he needs it. So, obviously, he's not the end of the world if we lose tonight uh, this first matchup. Obviously, we have two more matches to go through, but it'd be nice to start off with a big win. 
Michaels, and that would be against Shawn Michaels as well. That'd be a huge win. We're going to take it, throwing him in the corner. Both doing equal amounts of damage to each other here. Shawn Michaels is unleashing a sweet chin music. We want Undertaker to unleash his tombstone piles forever at some point, or just give a choke slam. You know, anything to do. Punch by. Take it. I don't know why he's looking at the Arm drag. Yeah, kick, kill Shawn Michaels. Kill! I know it ain't exactly kosher, but you're putting your body on the line in there. You gotta do whatever it takes to protect hey. yourself and pick up the win. Cass, you're talking about two different things. Look at that. That's going Cats, to go over man. big with the fans and build some momentum at the same time. You really gotta watch out for your opponents when they're getting fired up like this. I think we're hearing the First Amendment in action here tonight, Cass. It's a great thing to hear, Cole. That's why I care for feeding you. I'll take it with some moves here as I go in a fight of my own here. HPK's arms are looking pretty, uh, pretty yellow. That's pretty good. Shawn Michaels and HPK. Shawn Michaels HPK. Shawn Michaels the Undertaker, I should say. Undertaker. Again, all that momentum. DDT. That's what we want to see from Undertaker. More of this, please. Undertaker. Undertaker. We have favorites in these matches now. We can support our boys in these matches. Uh, unlike last time, when it's a SmackDown pay per we can't support them. When it's this, we can support our boys. We can be biased if we want to. Undertaker's doing it to Shawn Michaels here. This is what we want to see. Punches to Shawn Mike. Uh -oh. What advice, guys? You're a fan of getting cats. Just, just, just <laughs> sure are, Taz. We're well, seeing some this great intensity here tonight. tonight, and that's the name of the game called oh, intensity. It. You gotta stare at your opponent until one of you can't go anymore. Drop by Shawn Michaels. Take us back to his feet, though. Well that, Look at that shot from exactly Undertaker. That's what we want to see from the dead man. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Hold on. Spin him around. Oh, what? I thought he could do the tombstone. I was hoping he'd do tombstone, to be fair. Take it. Keep that finisher, please. Keep take it. Nice one. Okay, we'll be fine. We'll fine. Reverse it. Yes. Go on, take it. He's not going for it. Why is he not going for it? Maybe he wants to do more that. Maybe he, think, maybe he knows more than I do about it. Bro, you got this. Oh, take her. Don't do this to me now. In a second. Hold on a sec. Go for the tombstone. Take her. Man, this is not good. I'm not. Take her. Take her. Go for it. Go for DT. I'll do. I'll do too. Do enough damage to him, then do it. Go on, take it. Do it. Oh, I can't let him get a punch on you. He's getting punches in again. That's not good. HBK getting a little bit more offense now. Got punches again. Equal amount of, well, nearly equal amount of damage done to both opponents here. Take it. Nice. Go on, take it. Do it. Do it. Yes. Here we go. This is what we want to see. A standard tombstone pile driver, and that could be it. That should be it. One, two. Let's go. Come on. Oh, look who did it. That man, the Undertaker. Here's your winner. The Undertaker. He did not escape the cage this time. He stayed within the walls of the steel cage. And Undertaker doing it for us here on our opening contest at WrestleMania. Ricochet's walking across the desk for some reason. Eyes on his prey, I think. But we have eyes on winning this tournament here on WrestleMania once again. But Undertaker gets us off the best start possible. Congratulations to The Undertaker beating Shawn Michaels. A great start of the tournament. Undertaker beating Shawn Michaels inside the steel cage. And now we're heading on to the next one, which is a hardcore match between Roddy Piper and the rated R superstar, Edge. Will Edge get the job done here against Piper in his hometown of Toronto, Canada, or will Rowdy Roddy Piper get a little rowdy himself and 
take it to edge. Let's find out in this matchup right here, right now. Let's get into it. Following contest is a hardcore match. On the way to the ring, from Scotland, weighing in at 230 pounds, Rowdy Roddy Piper. He must be Scottish, he's got a kilt. Rowdy, Rowdy Roddy Piper is back at WrestleMania, back in a hardcore matchup. Last time he faced Rob Van Dam, this year he's got edge. But can Roddy Piper get the job done for Raw here tonight and win what he couldn't win last year, which is this match type? We'll find out in just a moment. Roddy Piper's ready to get Rowdy himself in this hardcore matchup. You think you oh, know. it's our boy, the Radar Superstar. And the opponent from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing 241 pounds, Edge. The Rated R Superstar is back again, and my oh my, he has a point to prove in Toronto, Canada. Lost his World Championship match last time at WrestleMania uh, against John Cena. This year, he could potentially win for SmackDown, a vital win in this tournament against Roddy Piper in this hardcore match of a match he likes. Uh, I think so we shall see if Edge can do the job here tonight as he takes on Rowdy Roddy Piper Can the Radar Superstar get us our second win and guarantee us a tournament win and a pick in the draft For our team. Let's find out right here right now. Let's get this matchup, baby I just realized John Cena isn't even booked on the card. That's just that's fucking mad to think about Because since John Cena has been like a 20-time world champion. It's mad to see him not on WrestleMania but Here we go Edge and Roddy Piper getting set to do battle. Because Hot Rod faced Rob Van Dam last time at WrestleMania and lost. Because Rob's the best, man. And Rob is not in this position anymore. He is challenging for the World Championship against Mark Henry tonight at WrestleMania. But Edge has now taken this opportunity to take on Roddy Piper in this matchup. And Roddy Piper going for the arm here. Of course, a win for Edge here means that we win the tournament. Means there's no way back for Raw. And we win outright with two wins to nil. That is potentially what can happen as the crossface being applied here by the radar superstar. Very good start from Edge. Yeah, that means Edge, if he can get the win here, we have a choice of person. We can keep on SmackDown to not be drafted. So we can keep whoever we want to keep. It could be Edge, it could be Undertaker, it could be John Cena, it could be fucking super the the crazy champion. He's already exempt. Free fucking kid cash, you never know who will pick. But Roddy Piper going for submission here. No weapons used as of yet because weapons are allowed. Hardcore rules. Anything goes in this matchup. You just have to pin or submit your opponent inside or outside the ring. There are no rules. You can do it any way you want. You can do it in the ring, you can do it outside the ring, you can do it in the crowd. You know, you can do whatever you want. That's the one thing I haven't seen yet in the hardcore matchup is they going into the crowd. I would like if they do that because you can do it in this game. That's Edge. Oh, wait a second. He's going for the equalizer. A favorite weapon of the Triple H, the game. The game. Edge is such a jerk. I'm amazed that of course, the game, a two time Royal Rumble winner in this GM mode. Oh, he's giving it to him. What's he doing here? Maybe he's going for that ring bump. Ding a ling a ling. Oh, no, he's always doing it. Oh, he's coming back in. Oh, he's, he's playing mind games. He's playing bloody mind games, that Edge. He's trying to get that bell, but I think he can. <laughs> oh, he gets hit with a sledgehammer because of it. Roddy Piper had enough. And now a single leg. Oh, Edge's in trouble. He escapes, though. Edge, Irish whip, not to the step. Oh, he went for the equalizer. Roddy Piper grabbed him just in time to make him drop it. And he was got by Roddy Piper. What's he thinking here on the floor? Nothing, because Edge, roll up, grab, oh no, he's going for that heel hook. Went for that roll up heel hook, and Roddy Piper escapes it very quickly. Which shows Edge with his uh, technical side to him, that little uh, submission background. Edge is trying to go for that ring bell, and I don't think he can get it. Oh, oh it drops it straight down the floor. 
And now he's got the equalizer. Now he's using it. Here we go. Oh, he used to like that. <laughs> I'm done. With What's he thinking? What's Ronnie Piper thinking? He's trying to get on the table? Oh, he's using the table in front of Taz and Michael Cole. And now look at. Oh my god, he's choking him! He's choking him with the, with the cable! Roddy Pipe's trying to kill Edge at WrestleMania! One of the cables used for the monitors for Taz and Michael Cole to watch the matches is being used to choke the life out of the radar superstar at WrestleMania. This is absolutely despicable behavior from Roddy Piper. Oh, spinning heel kick. Shout out to Tyler Breeze. Yeah, just throwing it back in the ring. Not on the table. I thought he'd go for the table. The equalizer, though, back in his hand. Roddy Piper back to the outside of the ring. And that's exactly what we're seeing here tonight. I think he's going for that ring bell now. He can't get the ring bell. For some reason, you can't get the ring bell. Edge now back to the outside. Is he going to have... You've got a weapon, Edge. Use it. Use the weapon. Use the weapon. Oh, he used it. He missed it. Good move from Edge. Oh, he's got it again. He missed again. He's trying to go for Michael Cole. Who can stop the path of Edge? Oh, nice from Edge. Michael Cole and Taz, my brothers. Ringside. Oh, he's finally on the ring bell. Ding a ling ling. Edge using the ring bell to completely deck Roddy Piper. He's going to use it again. Oh, no, he's going for you. I don't even know. I was just stretching him out, brother. Oh, no, you lose your finisher. No, 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 no. You're going to lose it. No, he's lost it. Oh, you stupid idiot, Edge. What'd you go for submission for? Oh, Edge, man. Is that... Oh. Edge's got the bell again. Ding. Hit him. Hit him again. Oh, going for the legs of Roddy Piper now. Going for it again. The legs of Roddy Piper are target now for Radar Superstar. Either. Now he's got the equalizer again. Oh, he's just decided he doesn't want that. Throw him in the crowd. Do something in the crowd for once. No. Oh, it's a battle between sledgehammers and bells. Edge missing, and now he's going to the outside. Oh, wait, he's going to the ring. He's going to find. He's going to find a steel chair. He swap positions. Now Roddy Piper's on the outside. Edge in, in the ring. Roddy Piper, I don't know what he's doing, he's going back in the ring. And, oh, hits the bell and knocks a chair out of Edge's hands. Hits him with the bell, single leg submission again. Working those legs, but Edge gets out of it. Come on, Edge. Edge is close to a win here. Just hit him with the bell, go on, do it. ding a ling, -ling. oh, just run out the ring, that's fine too. Oh, he hits him with a chair, didn't knock the bell out of his hand though. Oh, Edge! Edge! What's going on? Oh, shit. Oh, that's why he got the bell, though. Oh, Edge, hit him with it. Hit him with it! He's going to get a finisher! Edge, you idiot! Oh, Edge, you fucked up now. Edge, man. What the hell? Please lose it. Please lose it. Oh, he's not lost it. That is not what we want to see. Roddy Piper as a finisher. He built up all the momentum in the world. Edge had the momentum, lost it straight away. Because he went for a submission. Oh, trying to deck him with that chair. Roddy Piper with the equalizer in his hand. Edge with a chair. That's very unchair like right now. Oh, try to deck with that chair. Oh, reverse by Edge. Look at that. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Let's go another ring. A 2 by 4 barbed wire. And here we go. This is extreme hacksaw Jim Duggan. A 2 by 4 with some barbed wire. Oh, try to deck him with it. Oh, good. Go on. Yes, yes, yes. Execution! 
Boom. That could be it. That could be it. No road breaks as well. One, two. Oh, you bastard. You absolute bastard, Edge. The execution nailed on Roddy Piper. And he kicked out. He kicked out of it. Oh, he used the equalizer. Punches him in the head. He's close to another one, though. He's close to getting momentum on his side. Reversed by Roddy Piper. He's going back to the outside. What's he thinking? And having to deal with emotional as well as physical pain. He's in the ring yet. Yeah, I don't know what he's doing. He's waiting for Roddy Piper to come outside. He's got him outside now. Oh, look at this. Tactics from Hedge. Oh, he's rubbing his head in barbed wire. Roddy Piper gets his face rubbed in that barbed wire on that 2 by 4 And Edge is a dastardly man. Don't go for submission, you bitch. Pin is good. I like a pin. One, two. We've done it. We've only gone and done it. Oh my god. We've done it again. Here's your winner. Edge. Edge wins at WrestleMania, beats Roddy Piper in a hardcore match, which means SmackDown wins the tournament. Oh, Edge is talking trash now. Look, he's talking trash to Roddy Piper. And he can't beat me. He can't beat me on Team SmackDown. Edge. Does it for Team SmackDown. Congratulations to the Rated R Superstar. Edge on his victory. Ah, we've done it again. Two wins to nothing. Which means we've got one more match in this tournament. We've won the tournament already by wins. Which means this match doesn't mean nothing. But it'd be nice to round it off with a complete 3-0 thrashing of Raw. And now Shelton Benjamin's job as he takes on the hardcore legend himself, Mick Foley. In a backstage brawl, parking lot brawl match. Can Shelton Benjamin, our United States champion, do the job against Mick Foley, who we'll see for the first time in one-on-one -on -one action? We've seen him in Rumbles, we've never seen him in one-on-one -on -one action, I don't think. But this is a big one for Shelton. Can he do it here tonight? We shall find out right here, right now. Let's get in this matchup as Shelton Benjamin takes on Mick Foley. And here we go, straight in. Look at that Mick Foley attire, just a, a cactus jack-like flannel jacket with the... Uh, Mankind t-shirt, tracksuit bottoms, and white trainers. Shelter measuring his gear though, he's he taking a professional wherever you go. Shelter measuring and Mick Foley. Of course, we had a parking lot brawl in the last episode with John Cena and Edge, which is a very interesting match. I think Edge won that one actually, to be fair. So Edge has been on a bit of a roll. Was it Edge? Yeah, Edge won. Yeah, Edge won. He, he uh, punched him in the dick. He gave him a, a massive low blow. Oh, wait a minute. I've never seen this. Hold on. Oh my god. Oh my god! What the hell? Mick Foley just covered him in shit. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, Mick Foley knows these roots a bit more than uh, all these other people we've had in these backstage brawls. He knows what weapons to use. He just covered the Shelton Benjamin in shit. Super. Oh. Bunk! Look at that. But Shelton coming back with a heel kick there. But Shelton Benjamin. Doesn't smell too great at the moment. Doesn't look too great either after being covered in shit by Mick Foley. I can only assume it was it was that because what else could it could be a mixture of of, of piss and shit. You never know. Scoop slam and Mick Foley in trouble. Shelton Benjamin, our U.S. champion, looking to do the biz, looking to make it three and nothing for us. This was actually last last time we did this tournament, and it was Kurt Angle. Who was in this position. And he lost to Rey Mysterio. A traitor of the Smackdown brand. Uh, but. You know. That's, that's, that's just. You know. That's just, that's just it. You know. Uh, oh. Look at Shelton. DDT. Of course. Shelton Benjamin will be safe from this draft. He is our US champion. So he's not going to be drafted. Uh, in this one. So. That's. That's good for us. I, I like that. I like Shelton Benjamin staying on the, on the blue brand. That's who says currently. It's. It's uh, the tag team champions. So Snitsky and Kurt Angle. They're staying. Super crazy. He's our cruiserweight champion. Oh, look at Shelton. Go for that heel hook. Of course, you have to knock out your opponent or submit them. Uh, super crazy. He's our cruiserweight champion. And it's either Rob or Mark Henry who's going to be left to decide who is the last man exempt from the draft. So it could be Mark. It could be Rob. We don't know yet. We'll find out in the main event. As the Boston crowd applied 
by Mick Foley. And that car bonnet is open. After Shelton, I think, got into it by Mick Foley. Oh, I think we picked the wrong person here. Backbreaker from Mick Foley. This is a lot more hardcore than Shelton. Look at this. Single leg again from the hardcore legend. Turning into that calf crusher. Mick Foley. In control of this matchup. With a Boston Crab as well. So Shelton Benjamin, a US champion, in trouble. Uh-oh. This isn't good. We lost this last year as well. Uh, we'll probably lose this again. Mick Foley's just dominating right now. What's Mick Foley's finisher in this? Well, well no, because Shelton Benjamin reversed it. Hell yeah, Shelton. Go on, lad. Oh, back body driver. Back body drop driver onto the concrete. Shelton Benjamin looking to make a bit of a comeback here. He is beaten. Clothesline from Mick Foley. Oh. This isn't fair. Shelton Benjamin got covered in shit by Mick Foley. I, I, don't, I don't think this is really fair. What for that drop kick miss? Shelton Benjamin now taking a breather. So we want to see from big old Shelton. Uh oh. Uh oh. Come on, Shelton. Come on, Shelton. You got this, man. You got this. It's all you, buddy. This is all you. Oh, it's not all you! Mm. Right in the nuts. Now, Mick Foley's taking it to him. This ain't good. This ain't good. Chopsky. Mick Foley in control of this matchup. I think we picked the wrong person for this matchup. I trusted Shelton Benjamin a lot. DDT. Double unhook DDT. Oh, someone knocked him out. Oh, he's still alive. Shelton Benjamin still alive. Come on, Shelton. You got this. Oh, I forgot he's got a T bone suplex as finisher. We're never going to win. <laughs> oh, we should have picked Cena. Oh, chopped by, Shel uh, by Mick Foley and Sean Benjamin. Uh oh. Boston Crab again from Mick Foley. He is in control. Sean Benjamin not having any offense in a long time. This is reminding me of that. Survivor Series Hell in the Cell matchup that we had last year. Oh, wait a second. Back body drop. There it is. Shelton Benjamin making a, a late comeback here in this matchup. He's got to do a lot of damage to Mick Foley if he wants to win this matchup. Mick Foley. For a backbreaker. Ow. Well, this isn't good. This isn't good at all. Drop kick to the back of Shelton Benjamin. Mick Foley again in complete control of this matchup. Oh, Shelton Benjamin. Hold on. Hold on. Shelton Benjamin's coming back. Come on, Shelton. Uh, oh. Shelton. Oh, Shelton. Mick Foley is in control. He is looking to finish the job here. Boston Crab again. Mick Foley. Reverse by Shelton. Go on, Shelton. Yes, Shelton. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's over. It's over. Mick Foley. Defeat Shelton Benjamin in a backstage brawl. And Mick Foley, fair play, won that match very convincingly. So Mick Foley, your winner of this last tournament match. Which means we've arrived at the final matchup of WrestleMania. We've won the tournament convincingly, so that match didn't really matter too much to us. But we have this match to go. It is a World Heavyweight title match, our main event of the evening. Actually, let's take a look what happened in the main event before we, uh, before we start. Triple H won. Wow, that's a shock. Uh, well, every title match is on the line. Rob Van Dam looking to get back that title that was taken from him by Mark Henry. Can the world's strongest man keep that hold of that title? 
at WrestleMania, or will Rob Van Dam once again become world champion and do it at the grandest stage of them all at WrestleMania? Let's find out right here. Right, let's get in this matchup. Let's go. Oh shit. That's what they did. The following contest is a last man standing match. On the way to the ring, from Battle Creek, Michigan, weighing 230 pounds, Rob Van Dam. On time tonight, Tony Chimmel. On time tonight. This is a big matchup for Rob Van Dam once again. This time it's even bigger than usual as he's on the granddaddy of the more WrestleMania. And can Rob Van Dam get that W and become the World Heavyweight Champion? We shall find out right here, right now, as Rob Van Dam gets set to be the last man standing. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! And the opponent. From Silsby, Texas, weighing in at 380 pounds, the world's strongest man, Mark Henry. Look at that sight. Mark Henry, the world heavyweight champion on the grandest stage of all WrestleMania, baby. Mark Henry has been a beast. In fact, we should mention this right now. Mark Henry has never been beaten for the world championship technically. As he's never been pinned, submitted, knocked out, all the above. He has never lost it at all. Convincingly. And Mark Henry looks set to prove that he is the true World Heavyweight Champion. Can Mark Henry do it right here, right now, on the main event of WrestleMania? We should find out right here, right now. Let's get this matchup right now, baby. And here we go. Rob Van Dam and Mark Henry have clashed the past few weeks on SmackDown. In fact, Rob lost his title to Mark Henry. On a SmackDown. And here we go. Main event for SmackDown at WrestleMania. Shame it's not the actual main event. But hey, it's fine. But like I said with Mark Henry, Mark Henry has never lost the World Championship. Uh, like outright. He's only lost it when it's other people in the matchup. So in Triple Threats, Fatal 4 ways, he's only lost it in those circumstances. Never getting pinned. Never actually been submitted as well for the title. This is a big opportunity for Robert Dan to prove that he can do it. That he can beat Mark Henry. He's got to knock him out though. That takes some doing. Especially against the world's strongest man, Mark Henry. Mark Henry's had a hell of a year this year. Winning that world championship on multiple occasions. Beating Carly at WrestleMania. Beating Rob for it. I mean, he's had, a, he's had an eventful year. Mark Henry. This has been a, a big year for the world's strongest man. A big year for Rob as well. Becoming the world champ for the first time ever in this season, in this year, and won it twice. He's been a two-time world champion. Oh, the beer hug. Oh, my God. He's doing it real. This is a submission match. Rob Van Dam be in big trouble, especially with that bear hug. Mark Henry. Oh, he's about to step over. Oh, VD. And that is not good for the whole effing show. Looking to become Mr. Friday Nights once again. Oh, oh it drops him right on his knee. The way he dropped as well did not favor Mr. Friday Nights. Of course, to the people he's Mr. Friday Nights, but if he could be the World Heavyweight Champion, he will be, really, he would be actually Mr. Friday Nights. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Beautiful from Rob Van Dam. A little poetry in motion. Shout out to Jeff Hardy. Oh, wait a minute. Mark Henry's about to dig. Oh, he's about to choke him out. Standing Bulldog choke. I think. <laughs> I'd be calling it that. It looks like one, but we'll, 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 we'll call it that. We'll call it that. We'll call it that. You know what I mean? Feel free to correct me in the comments. It's all good. Uh, Rob Van Dam. Now going for Mark Henry. Oh, he's about to pick him up. Look at the strength from Rob. Suplex. Suplex is the world's strongest man. That is... That's Rob Van Dam. Like, Cena retained his title last time at WrestleMania. The main event for us here. Our main event, obviously. Uh, but Mark Henry is looking to do the exact same thing. Retain his title. So far, it's looking pretty good. Rob's had some offense, but... Mark Henry's dumb. Rob Van Dam now, look at this. 
It's like a big ass cow back. I should brought back, yeah. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Going for the legs now with Mark Henry. Smart tactic. Kick the big man down. Ha! <laughs> Book the eyes. Mark Henry going for the eyes of Rob Van Dam. Ladies and gentlemen, here it is, Taz. Whoa. He's building up ahead of steam. Let's do Mark Henry, so. I'll tell you what, if his opponent's got a brain right, in his head, he's going to run into him. No. Oh, Mark Henry, big slap to the back. And that hurts. Man, As Rob like has this, just found out. Uh-oh. Yes, See you, Rob. Mark Henry in complete control of this matchup now. And Mark Henry has all the momentum in the world. Oh. Uh-oh. This ain't good for Rob. This ain't good for Rob. Yeah, he's about to do that. He's about to do it. Arm drag from Rob Van Dam. Take it down. Mark Henry. Oh, and a low blow to Rob Van Dam. World's Strongest Slam combination as well. A low blow and then a World's Strongest Slam. This man is insane. That could be it as well. That could be it for Rob Van Dam. His lights are glazed over. The ref's at five. This could be it for Rob Van Dam. Right, eight, nine, and still world champion. Unbelievable. I mean, believable. Here's your winner, Mark. This man is unstoppable. Cannot lose a one-on-one -on -one matchup for the world championship. He's never been pinned or submitted for it. And Rob Van Dam found out how tough a customer Mark Henry really is. With a huge win at WrestleMania, retaining his world championship at the granddaddy of them all. Congratulations to the world's strongest man and world heavyweight champion, Mark Henry. Oh my god. Which means it is the end. WrestleMania is done. We know what happened to Yossi. Eddie, Eddie Guerrero winning. Okay, this is weird because I've had this before. Uh, I didn't realize that the Royal Rumble, but Triple H lost, won the tag team titles, then won the Royal Rumble, and then lost the tag team titles. It was weird because I noticed in the editing, and it's happened here again. Triple H won, but now he's lost again. I don't know what's going on. Eddie's won, apparently, so... Alright, I guess it's the main event. Eddie Guerrero wins. Fair play. But uh, we're going to find out who exactly is the GM of the year. And I have an inkling who it's going to be. So uh, let's go and get us over with right now. Let's go. In this case, that also makes for one loser. And one thing I will not tolerate is a loser. Without further ado, I give you the general manager of the year. Congratulations on a job well done. Which means Raw, I knew this was going to happen. Raw won the GM of the Year trophy. They've done very, very well. They have a bonus in the WWE draft. Uh, but we shall see what happens. Because we're going to find out who gets traded in the draft. We have a chance, obviously, to keep someone in the draft on our side. So we're going to do that right now. Uh, let's just get into it now. Uh, welcome to the post WrestleMania draft. It's time to shake this up a bit again. Here are the ground rules for each draft. The show manager of draft. Three ground two styles for the other show's roster. Those two styles are exempt from this draft of the Champions League show. So we begin, I have a few special privileges to add out. For in WrestleMania tournaments, Smackdown will get a franchise tag. This tag will enable GM to select superstar on their roster, they'll be safe from the draft. The same privilege goes to the GM of the year or winner overall. We'll have its third random draft pick replaced with a manual draft pick. This enables the GM to select superstar of their choice from their other roster. Good luck. Okay, so we can choose who is safe from the draft. And we have a few good options. We have Carlito, Edge. Joey Mercury, John Cena, Joey Nitro, Kid Cash, Lance Cade, Psychosis, Rob Van Dam, The Boogeyman, Trevor Murdoch, Umaga, and The Undertaker. This is a, also Melina as well, and Mickey James. This is a tough one because there's so many good people on this list. I mean, Carlito, Edge, John Cena, uh, Rob, Undertaker, Boogeyman, you know what I mean? So, I think we have to keep John Cena because John Cena usually is good. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep John Cena on our roster. He's going to be safe from this draft. And whatever happens, happens. Uh, John Cena is my selection for being safe. Let's see what happens in the draft. Let's see who's gone there. Fan change, roll, 25,000 people. Whatever. Uh, 
uh, WrestleMania, one of the WrestleMania's. Da, 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 da. Not that one's tournament. Yeah, we do. Draft results. Raw draft some big names for the other show. Edge, Undertaker, and oh, they took Edge and Undertaker. Shit. Okay. So who do we have? Are you fucking joking? <laughs> big Show and Ric Flair again, and we don't even get Rey Mysterio. Oh my god. This is. This fucking sucks. <laughs> and Rob Van Dam's out with an injury as well. Oh, great. Oh, great. Alright, welcome back. Uh, <laughs> Big Show and Ric Flair to the team. At least Ric Flair's got a 20 week contract. So, I'm. I'm that's Oh, I don't even know, man. Well, that's it for another year. Uh, we've lost people. We lost Edge and The Undertaker, who I kept, who I didn't keep safe from the draft, and I don't even know anymore. Man, they took our best people. We were kind of fucked anyway. We were kind of fucked. So I don't, I don't know what to feel about that. <laughs> I don't know what to feel about that. Oh man! All right, fans, Paul, we're back on five million views each. So we start again. Uh, we had a better match in the main event. Oh shit! Nice. That was a good match. And then, yeah. Uh, okay. And that's it for another year of this GM mode. Uh, I don't know when the next one will be out. Uh, there'll probably be a next one. I don't know. Really. But I think I might play some more season mode. Just unlock some more people uh, that are in the game. And to make sure they're in the game. On this GM mode. You can sign them, potentially. So you can see you can get like Batman Bigelow. Um, wait, wait, wait. Steve Austin, obviously. Rock is another one. So I might, I might play the game a little bit more and get some more people unlocked uh, for, the, for this mode. But yeah, I'm telling you, this game is fixed. This game is fixed. Because you can't have the same people again. Rey Mysterio was going to SmackDown and he picked him to go back to Raw. What was it, a random pick? I don't even know. Man, this sucks. Anyway, I'm going to head off now. Uh, I'm going to have, I don't know, a, a little rubbish through this game. See if I can beat the game and unlock some people. Uh, but I'll see you guys potentially for year three. We hopefully will be raw. If not, I don't even know. Uh, I'll see you guys in a bit. Peace. And have a good one. Rick Show. Rick Show. Big Show. Rick Flair. May as well be Rick Show. They were a tag team before, so may as well. Fuck's sake.